if we get shot at, just stay behind the sandbags. If you start dropping mortars, find a bunker. I've been fortunate enough to spend much of my life traveling the world, experiencing different cultures, their joys, their struggles. It's taught me that people can't be summed up by news articles or sound bites. It's hey. been 30 years of war. War, just war. It's vengeance, back and forth, back and forth. We can't sit back there and say, hey, it's your problem, it's our problem, it's a world problem. We hope that all the world can do something for us. Today I'm on a journey to get to know the people behind the headlines, to explore places with complex narratives where the church is alive and active, and to find hope in the face of pain and hardship. You don't know what's going to come the next day, the next moment, but you try to stay a step ahead and pour that joy in. Even when the world is scary as hell, we're going to love anyway. One day our children, they're going to be studying what happened. They're going to ask, what did you do? I hope we have an answer for it.